Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be looking at how QS works with PCQ without rate limit. So before I continue, I'm going to explain what is QS. And QS stands for quality of service. And what it does, it ensures that all the devices in your network gets some of the bandwidth that is available. So no one device can actually use all the bandwidth while other PCs um, may, may be unable to browse just because of that one PC that is maybe streaming some videos or so forth. And PCQ stands for per connection queuing and what this does, this works in conjunction with QoS and it breaks the traffic into queues. When it breaks the traffic into queues, it allows better bandwidth management and parameters to be set based on the traffic. Alright, so in this diagram, when one device is connected, this device will get the full 100 up, um, well, full 100 down and the 20 up. But if another PC um, comes online now and uh, starts to browse, what will happen with, um, with PCQ it will ensure that this PC will now get, will be guaranteed half of the available bandwidth. And if we add another device, then the bandwidth will be divided by three. And if a four device comes on, the total bandwidth will be divided by four. So now with four devices on, on this network, each device will now get 25 megabits download and 5 megabits upload. Alright, let us look at another scenario. In this scenario, we have set a rate limit, or what we call a, a rate. And uh, this rate limits the total download, which is for this scenario is just 10 megabits. And, uh, also limit the total upload which is one megabit and uh, with this limit this pc will now only get 10 megabits down and one megabit up and if a second pc comes online that pc will get the same bandwidth as the first pc and if a third pc comes on and the fourth will be the same so with when a rate is set the bandwidth remains constant to the device even even when that device um, demands more more bandwidth and uh, the available bandwidth for each pc um, remains the same and the only times this change is if the bandwidth demand exceeds the maximum download and upload so i'm going to go into a bit of, of that i'm going to show you a, a scenario to better explain that situation so say for instance your network is congested so a lot of um, traffic is flowing through a lot of persons are browsing streaming and so forth with with a rate limit that is set to 10 megabits down and one up and for this scenario what I did was I use a lower download speed and a low um, and a lower upload speed just to make make the um, the figures a, a bit more realistic. So with this, the first PC uh, will will have a download speed of 10 megabits um, down and one megabit up, and that is because of the rate limit. But there are there are other factors that affect rate limits. One is a priority. So if you look when you're creating a new um, queue tree, you see this 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 um this field that says priority, and how the priority works is that the bigger or the the larger the priority number is the lower is the lower the priority. So priority one will have a higher priority than priority eight. So in a congested network. These computers that has a priority 8 will get the remaining bandwidth. So this computer, because um, the first computer has a priority 1, 
this computer is guaranteed all the bandwidth based on the, the rate that is set which is the 10 megabits so this computer will get will will be able to get its full 10 megabits down and one up while the other computers will get the remaining so if you subtract say if you subtract 10 from the 20 megabits you are left with 20 and dividing the 20 now you will you each computer will get a maximum of 6.66 megabits per second and 3.33 kilobits per second so this is how um, QoS works with PCQ um, in a congested network I'm now going to show you a practical example in in router OS where I'm going to configure some queues and do some tests and show you how it really works all right so I'm now in Winbox and what I did was I created some manga rules that will mark the traffic for some client computers and on my DHCP servers there are three clients that are currently connected and what I did was to create some rules that will mark the traffic for each client but I'll go through creating these manga rules in another tutorial but this is just to give you an idea or give you an understanding of how PC, PCQ works over here we have the Q tree which I had created and what I did was to allocate the maximum bandwidth to be 7 megabits and then for download I allocated 5 megabits and for upload uh, 512 kilobits so all the clients would share this 5 megabits and they will also share the 512 kilobits upload based on the limit that is set so these would be the limit for these clients because these clients are actually the child for this parent so this is a parent and these will be considered a child because they are underneath each one and then download and upload will be the child for all bandwidth so what I'm going to do I'm going to go over to um, the client PCs and then I'm going to download a file and then you're going to see how PCQ distribute the bandwidth across those clients but in terms of explaining how to create the manga rules and the, the, the Q tree I'm going to do that in another tutorial where I'm going to go through and explain how to create each one of these and how it really works and all of that but this is just to show how PCQ works and how it distributes bandwidth so let me go over to test machine and the, I'm on thinkbandwidth.com slash download and this is a good site where you can use to download um, files for testing your bandwidth so I'm going to download a 1 gig file and I'm going to say save I'm going to save this I'm going to switch over to another PC and I'm going to download the same file again I'm going to save that and then I'm going to go to the third one which is my PC and I'm going to download that file too and let us go back to to Winbox and if you look at the speeds you realize the speeds are almost the speeds are almost um, identical so you, you see where PCQ actually divide the speeds um, for each for each client equally between 1.6 and 1.7 megabits so dividing it's dividing the traffic equally um, across all the clients I remember in the tutorial we were showing how the traffic would be dividing, divided equally amongst among the clients and so this is how it really works so say for instance I change the, the limit you remember I was talking about the limit, the rate and this is the rate, this is where you go to change the rate and if you say for instance, I change the rate to 2 megabits apply that okay so this is the rate for the download I just change it. I'm just going to change the download for now just that for now alright so the rate has changed to 2 megabits so that's the maximum speed any computer can get but that doesn't really affect anything right now 
because you're seeing where the, the speed is still equally the bandwidth is is equally distributed across each client but if I go to PC 3 and I change the priority I'm going to give this PC priority 1 okay you're going to see where this PC you now would would get more bandwidth than the others so this PC you now starting to get 2 megabits which is the full bandwidth while the others are getting the remainder which is 3 megabits can you remember the total bandwidth is 5 megabits and uh, this this PC PC client 3 is getting 2 megabits while the remaining 3 megabits is, is shared um, between the other two clients and it, this, is, this happened because of the priority so client 2 has priority 8 and client 1 also have priority 8 if I go ahead now and change the priority for another client to to say I'm going to change this one client 2 I'm going to change the priority to 1 also then you see what happened now client 3 and 2 is getting the same bandwidth and whatever is, is left um, client 1 will be getting whatever is left over so these two so 2 and 2 4 and whatever is left which is 1 megabit is would make up the total bandwidth which is 5 megabits so because this is uh, the limit that is set the total bandwidth that the clients use will not pass 5 megabits so that is how PCQ works and oh this is how QoS works with PCQ in, in, in managing bandwidth and I'll be doing another video explaining how to create the Mangler rules how to create the Mangler rules, how to create, create these Q trees and also modifying the Q types so I'll be going through all of those in, an, in another tutorial so that's it for this tutorial remember if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching